Imagine a planetary system where the planets are so light, they're compared to cotton candy. Welcome to the Kepler-51 system, a system that's already baffling astronomers with its three ultra-low-density, super-puff planets. But now, a surprising new discovery suggests there may be even more to this system than we originally thought. Today, we're diving into a fascinating new discovery in the Kepler-51 Planetary System 1 that's challenging everything we know about planet formation. A fourth planet has been discovered, and it could help unlock some of the biggest mysteries of ultra-low-density planets, also known as superpuffs. So, let's get into it. The Kepler-51 system, located about 2,600 light-years from Earth, was already famous for its three super-puff planets. These planets are about the size of Saturn, but only a few times the mass of Earth, making them incredibly light. Think of them as cosmic cotton candy giant in size, but with a density so low they can't even hold a candle to typical planets. Brian Cox, the renowned physicist, has pointed out that this system challenges everything we know about planetary formation. The fact that multiple superpuffs exist in one system is something we simply didn't expect, and it forces us to rethink how these planets could have formed and survived in such extreme environments. Here's where things get really interesting. A team of researchers, led by Jessica Libby Roberts from Penn State and Kento Masuda from Osaka University, set out to study Kepler 51d, one of these super puff planets, using the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. They were ready to observe its transit when a planet crosses in front of its star, something we've seen countless times with other exoplanets. But they were shocked when Kepler 51d's transit happened two hours earlier than predicted. At first, they thought it was just an anomaly or a slight miscalculation. But after a closer look at the data, they realized the issue wasn't just with the planet they were studying. It was a sign of something bigger. The team discovered that the only way to explain the unexpected timing was the presence of a fourth planet, which they've named Kepler-51e. This new planet's gravitational pull appears to be influencing the orbits of the other planets in the system causing them to shift ever so slightly leading to those early transits. Now, what makes this discovery even more exciting is that Kepler-51e is in an orbit that places it just inside the habitable zone, the area around the star where liquid water could exist. That means, while we don't yet know if Kepler-51e is another super-puff planet, it could hold clues about the potential for life in distant systems. Kepler-51e is believed to have a mass similar to the other planets in the system. Its orbit around the star takes about 264 days. However, there's still a lot we don't know. The planet hasn't been observed transiting its star yet, so we can't yet determine its size or density. It's still unclear if it's another superpuff planet or something entirely different. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Kepler-51 system, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest space discoveries. What do you think? Could there be even more planets hiding in this system? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up.